This is Event in Busan. I'm Ina Kang, and Anastasia couldn't be here with us today, so I'll be stepping in as your reporter. I'll do my best to fill you in on what's going on in Busan. So far, Event in Busan has reported on Hapkido, Kuksur, Jiu Jitsu, and other forms of martial arts from around the world. We found out that many of our expats participate in these sports not just for health, but also as a great hobby. So now that spring is upon us, uh, we should present another great sport. So how about we go to Kondo class? So let's go check it out right now. Kondo class and wait, am I still in Korea? Because I feel like I'm back home because where are the Koreans? But anyways, I'm gonna watch the class and then we'll get back to you. Okay, so now it's my chance to finally talk to the master and figure out what's going on. Before, I really wanted to talk to him, but I don't know, just that fire in his eyes kind of freaked me out, and I didn't think I could interrupt his class. But now, it's like I'm looking at a completely different guy. So, let's go and meet him now. Hi, can you please introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Jun. I'm a teacher here at Trinity Gym. We train Taekwondo and Gumdo. We are a new facility, and we are having lots of fun. Wow, so um, how is it that you got started teaching a class for foreigners? As I have experience teaching in Australia and UK, so I felt comfortable with the idea of working with the foreigners here in Busan. Oh, Australia and the UK, wow, that's really great. Master Jun, what do you feel like you're really taking away from your time and your work here at this gym? I really like that through this sports, I'm able to meet great people from the other countries and create lasting friendship. So I heard about the World Hedong Kondo Championships that take place like every four years, kind of like the Olympics of Kondo. Can you tell us more about that? Maybe this is the world's biggest Hedong Kondo Championship. Uh, we had 200 competitors from 40 countries. Uh, it is also opportunity to learn the original Hedong Kondo style and build a community with the, in the sports. Oh, I see. Wow, that's a lot bigger than, you know, I would have even thought. 40 countries, 200 competitors, it's, I guess it's a really big deal. So we're looking, really looking forward to the next championships. I think that would be really cool. Um, so when I first heard of Kondo, you know, I was expecting all those masks, you know, and like flashing swords and two people like sparring against each other. But then I came here and I saw a different technique. Can you explain that for us? Yes, you are thinking of Japanese gumdo where they gain points from sparring each other. But Hedon gumdo is a Korean martial arts where the focus is on the form and sword use. So in Hedon gumdo we spar in different way. Mm. We train with the bamboo and straw bundles. Mm. Uh, I mean the cutting. Ah, oh, cutting, right. Yeah. Well, if you want to know more, uh, you go to www.haedong dash k-u-m-d-o dot o-r-g all right you guys so you heard that go check it out at www.hedong dash kondo dot org so you can find out a lot more about this great sport okay master june last question what are your future goals for uh, just your time here in this facility in the future i hope to show the world korean culture through my work in true martial art so those are really great goals that you have in mind, and I hope you the best of luck on achieving them. Um, so n I think I've learned a lot about Kondo and the difference between Korean Hedong Kondo and then like what everyone usually thinks of when they think of Japanese Kendo. So it was a very informative time here in this gym that, you know, education in gym, who would have thunk? Anyway, so thank you so much. Okay, so I would really, really like to learn some of the steps that you guys are doing, um, but it looks kind of difficult. Do you think you can show me? Oh, uh, yes, it's not difficult. Sure, you want to learn? 
Yes. Okay. To grip the handle, this is very important. You know, here, the place where your thumb and index finger meet, mm -hmm. you point this part to the center of the handle like this. Okay, center. Center. Got it. Yep. yep. With the left hand, you grip the end of the handle mm -hmm. like this mm -hmm. and just grip like you are squeezing some something. Okay. okay. Hard. Right. Okay. And with your right hand, you just uh, uh, control the direction. Okay. Okay. And then now I have to hold on for dear life, right? Okay. So it's a lot heavier than I thought it would be. And if I can make the same sounds with the sword that Master June was before, then maybe they'll give me a part in the next Star Wars because I feel like a Jedi. All right, here we go. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's just stop here before it gets any more hard. Man, am I out of shape? What's the deal? But anyways, thank you so much, Master June, for showing me these basic steps. Thanks again. Thank you. Here we are in the Kumdo class, and oh, there's a girl here, and she's really pretty. Should I be intimidated? I don't know, but I cannot believe that all that power is coming out of her. She's just the petitest little thing. Let's go find out what she's all about. All right. Hi, can you please introduce yourself? Sure, hi, my name's Anushka. I'm a teacher in Busan, and uh, I'm a student in Gumdo and Taekwondo. Cool, so Anushka, how long have you been doing Gumdo? I've been doing it since December. Um, I did other martial arts back home before, different Japanese styles of martial arts, mm -hmm. and uh, this is the first time I've ever done the sword or anything like it. Um, what attracted you to Kumdo? Mainly the fact that I've never done anything like it before. Um, with Taekwondo and Hapkido, um, they remind me of other styles I've done in the past, so in some ways it's a little easier to get into that because it's similar. In other ways it's harder because I have to sort of pinpoint the differences or remember that, okay, this isn't karate, this is Taekwondo, you can't do it that way, you have to do it this way. Uh, but with Gum Do, um, it was just totally new foreign territory and um, I've fallen in love with it, I'd have to say. It's probably my favorite style now, or it's become my favorite style. Sounds like you're really well versed in Kumdo. You hear that, creepers out there? Don't mess with Anushka. She will knock you down. So compared to the other martial arts that you've trained with, do you think Kumdo is any more dangerous than the other ones? No, not at all, actually. Um, I would, if anything, say the opposite. I, if you were to compare Kumdo to anything that might be more familiar to to the general public, I would say it's kind of like Tai Chi. It's very, it's almost meditative. Um, other martial arts, uh, I would say Hapkido and things like Jiu Jitsu in particular, are a lot more about training practical self-defense styles. And even with Taekwondo, I think ultimately you want to translate what you're learning into practical self-defense. So if ever you were in a situation where you had to defend yourself, you'd be able to. Uh, Gum Do is really a style where you're just appreciating the art of it all on its own. And it's a lot about maintaining um, a lot of focus and self-control because every movement in a series of movements has to be very crisp and clear but at the same time maintain this constant flow. Um, so that is a certain degree of self-control that you learn that you can translate into other styles of martial arts um, if you are training in other styles but otherwise it's really just appreciating the art for itself and doing it just for the sake of doing it because um, clearly you know I'm not going to walk around with a sword <laughs> on my back and pull it out you know <laughs> someone, in case someone attacks me I'm just doing it to sort of keep a clear head and keep myself grounded and sane um, you know since work gets intense and stuff so it helps me with that as well. While it would be cool for you to be known as a foreigner that carries a sword around, yeah, <laughs> definitely. That might be a little sketch. All right, thanks so much, Anushka. It was really great meeting you.